Uh, hello there, everybody. This is my first tutorial, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made this. And this is just something that uh, I made for my little brother to go on his binder. And uh, this, is, this is the way he wanted it to look. I think that it looks better if you, uh, if you do other stuff, like take off these checkers here. I think that's a little bit too far, but, you know, it's just what he wanted. So I think that this looks really good. And uh, also, I got this I got this uh, effect off tutorialize.com, and this is the effect itself. It's a uh, you know it's a little bit more simple than the way I had it, but it looks really good. It's a really good text effect. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to show you how I made it. So it's just a simple white background and uh, these checkers here. Uh, they're, uh, it's, they're really easy to make, it just might take a little while. What you have to do is you have to go to the pen tool, then you have to uh, go up to shape, you have to click on the checker shape, and instead of, you know, you drag it out like this, but instead of going like this, you know, you want to hold shift to get a clean, even shape, and that's what it's going to look like. So you just might have to, you know, duplicate some layers and just make it go across the whole board if that's the way you want it to be. And uh, the next uh, layer is the grunge layer, which is just basically, here, I'll give you a better look. It's, uh, it's just all the red stuff that you see behind it all. So, and that's also quite easy to make. You just need to go into your brushes. And you can download this brush head that I use uh, really anywhere. I mean, just Google it. You know, there's a couple websites that will probably have the same one. Now, uh, pretty simple, pretty easy to find. So, you know, make sure you turn on the airbrush and hold it down for a little while. Yeah, you, know, you get that kind of thing. So, yeah, that's really easy. I also use some splatter, like some uh, splatter stuff with this brush head that I downloaded. Yeah, tone it down a little bit, do something like that. It's quite easy. And, uh, okay, so turn these back on. Now to the vines. Uh, the vines, you can see there, they're, they look kind of easy, but if you don't know what you're doing much with the, with the whole uh, pen tool and you're kind of new to it, then it might be kind of hard to get it looking as good as I got it. So uh, I'll show you how to do it though. First, you have to go over to your brushes and you have to put it on a circle brush like this. Make sure the hardness is all the way up. Put it on about uh, somewhere around 50, and you have to turn on the airbrush right there. And then what you want to do is go to your pen tool and just basically make a vine looking shape like that. And you hold control, you click on it with, uh, with the, uh, yeah, control, and you just click on it. And you go to stroke path, and yeah, you have to go to brush, and you have to click on simulate pressure. And then you just go to OK, and there it is. It's a, uh, you know, it's kind of easy to do. You just have to have some, some skill with the, uh, with the pencil. So once you, uh, once you're done making that layer, or you know, however you're gonna do it, just uh, now for the text. Uh, the text, you know, it's kind of easy, but it just might take a little while. There's a lot of uh, here. Let me show you what it looks like without the text effects. It doesn't look. Nearly, you know, that doesn't look good at all. So it's really a lot about the text effects. So you uh, just look at these settings the way I have it. I mean, of course, you know, do what you want. You do your own style. But I think that these are some pretty good settings to have for this effect. So yeah, I'll show you guys what to do with the uh, with the, all the shadows and the bevel and embos and all that kind of stuff. You know. So basically, if you want it to look like mine, just copy. Copy these settings, you know, and again, yeah, just feel free to do it your own way. Okay. And basically, I just, let's see what font I use. I just use a real plain font. I use Helvetica. So, yeah, and you know, you can get a really nice effect with a really plain font. It's not about what font you're using, it's just about how you pull it off. So, 
And what also make th makes this look really good is the text grunge that I have. If you turn it off, you see it doesn't look nearly as good. So, what the text grunge is, is I use the grunge uh, paint set that I'll show you right here. And if I can find all these uh, all these brushes again, then I'll put the links in the description so you guys can uh, download them and use them if you want to. But uh, I have a lot of brushes that I like to use for stuff like this. So let's see. Here, here it is. Here's my grunge set. So uh, this is what it looks like. That kind of stuff, and it's really you know it's made into a square. So you're kind of gonna have to. Uh, you know, just use it wisely when it comes to the text. What you would do is you would uh, you would hold Control and Command, and then oh no, not Control and Command, Alt and Command, and you would click on your text layer, and it would select around the text. So basically, if you have a bunch of text grunge, here you select this. If you have a bunch of text grunge like this, like all over the layer, you would select the text only. If you go into your text grunge layer. You need to go select and inverse, and then you take your eraser and you know bring it up like this, and you just erase all around, all around your text and stuff, so that the grunge only appears in the letters, and then uh, that's what you want. So, and then here this layer is set on uh, set on overlay, and what this does is it gives uneven lighting, and it looks pretty good. I think it looks better with this on. So again, set on overlay, and you just take a you just take a, a soft brush tool, and you just airbrush around in some random areas to make it look a little bit better. And then this one is also set on overlay, and it's uh, the coloring to kind of make it look rusty. So, you know, you can see how it looks better with it on, unless you're just going for it to be, you know, you want it to be black and white, you can do that. But I just think it looks really good like this. And finally, I have my coloring layer. And it's kind of, you know, it might be a little over the top. Some people might not like it as much. Just want it to be more simple. I think it looks good, though. So basically what you do to get this kind of effect is you make a square with the uh, with this selection tool over here, rectangular. And you make a rectangular or square or whatever. And then you go into your brush. Brushes, you know, you get a circle brush. Bring it up like this. You know, you want it to be red or whatever color. Make it blue, and then just color it like that. Basically, I just wanted to go for a random pattern. Uh, yeah, just a random pattern of, of you know all the color and everything. I think it looks good like that. So hopefully this helped, and if this isn't good enough instructions for you. Uh, I guess just PM me or whatever. I can give you some more specific instructions unless you just want me to make a, a whole more specific thing. But we'll see. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully this helped you. So, again, this is the final outcome I came out with. So, uh, I think it's pretty good looking. I mean, again, there's plenty of different ways to do it. Plenty of different ways to, uh, to you know, to have the whole final outcome look. I think that this is my favorite thing right here. I think it looks better than having the checkers. But anyway, you guys, again, I hope this helped you. And thanks, you know, feel free to comment and rate and subscribe.